Hello, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Awakened. We found a box about illustrated whatevers. <laughs> and we can't talk to people right now, I guess, so. Golden Lion food all day, good selection of wines. Oh, look, there's a little doggo. <gasps> look at this little doggo. Oh. That's a good doggo. Holmes! Here! Oh god, it's fucking Watson. Run away! No, Holmes! Over here! Seriously, it's important! I think I sprained my knee when I try to propose to you, Holmes. Holmes, where are you going? Holmes! Okay, fine. Fine. I guess we'll just stay first person. That's easier, right? Uh, it's like Oblivion. Better than Skyrim. Or I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna. Maybe he didn't see me enter the alleyway. Okay, stick him up. Five hundred, right here. Pants, right. Put them here. No, nope. don't fucking pa fuck. I have a knife. I have a knife. Stop. Stop. I tell you. Stop. Fuck that guy. Alright. Well. This looks interesting. This is a door, right? I have no reason to go there. Well, I do. I'm curious as fuck, dude. Ugh, this bag alley. That's a... That's a robbery waiting there. Stop. Give me your money. Stop! Stop! Well, fuck you too! Okay. Ah, it's good that I found you, Holmes. As I told you this morning, I visited Captain Stenick. Although his symptoms are not serious, the circumstances which caused his palpitations are quite peculiar. Perhaps you can make something of it. Here is Captain Stenick and Sergeant Rufels. Perhaps I can perceive his Palcopagian's problems. What do you make of this, Holmes? Hello. Captain, I understand from Watson you are quite upset. Any man will be the same, and with less provocation. My servant has left in the middle of the night. Damned ungrateful after all I have done for him. To top it off, he knows not one word of English. Finally, if he causes any damage, I will bear the brunt of people's anger and suffer the consequences, as I am the person who brought him to England. How long was he in your employment, and is he accustomed to vanishing in this manner? We returned from Australia more than five months ago now. But to his credit, he never left this house before now. He is afraid of the city, as are many inhabitants from open spaces. Could he have stolen something? Upon my word, no. How much money does he have on his person? Frankly speaking, he didn't have any money. I kept his wages for him, and they are in my safe. In any event, what the deuce would he have a need for money? Who knew that he worked at your home, and had he any contacts here in London? Anyone who deals with me professionally knows Baopa is my personal servant. As for his contacts, they are limited to the delivery men who bring food or other items to my home. What reason could he have to see anyone other than myself? Okay. Now then, Sergeant, what is it about, and what elements of the crime do you have documented? Referring to the official report, the following particulars were taken down. A young Maori responding to the name Bayalpa was reported missing by his employer, Mr. Stenick. No one in the surrounding area saw or heard anything relevant to this incident. In truth, we rarely concern ourselves with cases such as this, but the lad speaks not a single word of English, and according to his employer, has considerable strength. 
Considering the wild customs of his native land, who knows what damage he could cause? You must know, Mr. Holmes, there have been <laughs> just a few fucking stone face at that recently. The facts are much the same. Immigrants from the poor districts have been reported missing by their families. We expect that some low-class brothel has opened its doors to the local exotics, and Mr. Holmes, you can imagine how word would spread. Mark my words, with his unique looks and speech, we'll find this boy in no time. I imagine he'll have nothing worse to show than empty pockets and a delighted air. That is a possibility, to be sure. However, I would be most grateful if you could ask your superiors to send me the reports about those similar cases. I rely on you, Ruffles. Watson, Ruffles. Continue your search here. I must follow another lead. Okay. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go there. I have no reason to go okay. there. Well, let's go back to the office then. So a young Maori has left his employer and uh I don't have enough information. I don't have enough information. I should return and investigate further. Suit yourself, Mr. Holmes, but it seems to me you're just wasting valuable time. Trust the instincts of a seasoned policeman. In my professional view of the case, this lad went on a spree and will pop up wiser if poorer in pocket. Okay. I see. Hey, there's an axe here. <gasps> Dude, footprints. But what is this? Symbols. I'm guessing this is where the lad slept and did his business. What a peculiar drawing. In the shack where, where the young Maori Baba was living, there's a drawing on the soil in Maori style. It depicts what appears to be a silhouette of a human running from a wave filled with wake forms and resemble flying fish. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. I can see that. Maybe he had a nightmare. Flaxen, yellow in color. Flak what is flaxen? Is that a type of textile? Hmm. Footsteps. Let's see. Is that a measuring? The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard soled. In Mr. Stenwood's garden, I noticed footsteps leading away from the wall and towards the shack door. They were size seven. The size in connection with the depths of the impressions near the walls just a heavy or a large man. Hmm. hmm, how strange. This appears to be a fish scale. I shall have to examine this. A fish scale. Interesting. Am I done? Footsteps. Let's see. Uh Footsteps. Let's see. 
The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we could like find here? Doesn't seem to be the case, okay. Well, that was a bunch of shit. In the good way, there was a bunch of information. So there's like fish scales. Hmm. Now anyone who knows anything about Lovecraft probably has a good idea of what that would be. Uh, for anyone else that's not involved in, in that well worth in Lovecraft, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not uh, tell you. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So a yellow piece of cloth was stuck to the top of the door. Oops. And we had a fish scale and some footprints. Now, as far as I remember, there weren't any footprints on the. The lock was not cracked. Oh. The lock was not cracked. So he opened the door on his own. Oh boy. Hmm. This appears to contain some measure of opium. I shall analyze it at Baker Street. He had opium in his... thing. Hmm. Yes, there is something here. 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 But what, Holmes? Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. Care to let me in on it, Holmes? Okay. Well. This should prove useful. Oh, it's a stair, it's a ladder. Yes, there is something here. Okay. Oh. I found some plant fibers. Fibers? Why are they here? Hmm. It will be necessary for me to examine this more closely at Baker Street. Okay, let's go back to Baker Street. Should we just leave the ladder there? Eh! No one will break in. <laughs> oh boy. Thankful that I was so fucking close to where we live. Like, could have been across town. I don't have enough information. I should return and investigate oh further. Oh, God. Okay. Make it more clear, then. Uh. The right shoe is missing a nail. Oh! The right shoe is missing a nail. Okay. So I have traces of footsteps leading from the wall around the halls of nearby... I feel like I already clicked there, like, five times. Why did I only find it now? There was additional evidence of a heavy object consistent with being a man landing on the ground from the wall. Interference is that of a man of certain weight. Footsteps were consistent with size 7, fully sold shoe. And the other is missing in, in. Okay. Hmm. 
Now we, I think we can leave. Okay. Let's talk to them again then. Come Watson, we must return to Baker Street. What do you make of this, Mr. Holmes? Mr. Stenick, I wish my news were your servant simply left your employment voluntarily for the service of a more honest man. Unfortunately, I don't have that pleasure. In truth, the news is grim indeed. Your servant was seen in the company of two men yesterday. One of the two is a man of moderate size, very robust, and a mature Wait, age. How do you know he His was profession, seen? which will be the key element in our investigation of this affair, will be determined by me within few hours. The other is a young Hindi, who is tall and only recently arrived in England. There is a darker side to these events. Your man was not with them by choice. Rather, the evidence shows he was kidnapped. At this moment, the reasons behind this villainous act are unknown. But, rest assured, the truth will not elude me for long. Gentlemen, I wish you a good day. Come, Watson, we must hurry. There's a great deal to do and little enough time to spare. Holmes, I must protest. You did not spare my client, Captain Stenick. This seems unusually harsh. That may be, Watson, but now what matters more is to know the reasons behind the kidnapping of this young Aboriginal yesterday evening in central London, and more importantly, what has become of him. When did we learn he was I seen? I must concentrate on a small experiment. I will run to test my theories. Please go to the poor Lovelorn Barnes and ask him if he has something on the Maori nation and its traditions. Also, if you should happen to see the newsboy outside, find out what he knows, and if it has value, give him a coin. And for God's sake, don't be a miser, Watson. A miser? You cost me one of my patients, and you question my level of generosity with your informers? Oh, really, Holmes, sometimes you go too far. Okay. Third person. Am I still playing as Holmes? I am. Okay. Well, I guess we should investigate all this. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Ranger Place. Um, that was kind of like you had to find that one spot to click on, otherwise it wouldn't let you go. At least like uh, it it eliminates pieces you don't have to look at anymore. So, like, it wouldn't let me look at the fence 11 times after finding the one thing they want me to find there. So, like, at least there's that. I like that it kind of removes the already needed things. And I, I love that it doesn't, like, let you wander around London aimlessly. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Ranger Place. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're joining us for more shenanigans and for more mystery. Until then, bye.